Hi, folks. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you all. A couple of poems that I did with Tom, I'm going to read first, and then I'll read a recent arcane. The first one is called One Day. One day, I'm going to give up writing and just paint. I'm going to give up painting and just sing. I'm going to give up singing and just sit. I'm going to give up sitting and just breathe. I'm going to give up breathing and just die. I'm going to give up dying and just love. I'm going to give up loving and just write. The other one is... The other one is uh, Kabbalah Blues. <laughs> Ain't got nothing, yeah. Which is what's known as the contradictory Kabbalah Blues, you hear? This old I ain't got nothing. And that's why bellies full empty, like it just devoured a couple refried shoes. Her heart's in my mind. My mind's on black fire's translucent booze till I get to ether and there is not either or. I'll drink elixir at the zero door. When it opens, I'm in, out of breath, breathless for sure. Okay. And I want to read this arcane which recently wrote. It's the tears, it's a, the tears of hate, in quotes, arcane. In memory of Roddy Edmonds and Heather Heyer. You all know who Heather Heyer is, I'm sure. If you don't, you should. She'll be referenced and, and uh, Roddy Ed Edmonds, you'll understand from the poem. One. Well, let me just say this. My war as an adult was the American war in Vietnam. Not because I lost my job at UCLA, but because I was an adult when that war occurred. But I lived a childhood in the Second World War. And this is important to me, this poem, because I went back to that. Indeed, I received a letter from my friend. Wow, you mentioned uncle. Uh, my childhood, I was born in 33, so I lived the war. War ended 12 years later. So I was 12 years old when it ended. The Tears of Hate are Cain. One. My tears last night seeing my brothers and sisters in a documentary called G.I. Jews were not only theirs shed 73 years ago outside liberated Nazi concentration camps. My uncles, Burrow, Meyer, and Nathan, my cousins, Sonny and Seymour, among the liberators, were tears of sorrow 
and of joy. And as the soldier rabbi said, tears of hate as well. After beholding the pits of masses of bones, socketless eye spaces, the ovens with still smoldering skeletons. My brothers and sisters, 500,000 of Jewish origin, who fought as G.I. Joes, finally, if they'd had any doubts before, understood what the war was all about, what they were fighting, and to you'd be closing down the doors of your mind if you didn't recognize those Nazis marching in Charlottesville, Virginia, shouting, Jews will not replace us, already are envisioning those ovens and mass pits here in the USA. And those tears of hate on my part contain the urgent warning that the arrogant thug president, like any Nazi, has neither doctrine nor principle, only lies, domination by division and violence, and if allowed to continue nourishing his bigoted base, what Sinclair Lewis meant when he wrote, it can't happen here, not only will happen, but has happened. So get off the numb skulls you've been warming your asses on, brothers and sisters. In this war, as Roddy Edmonds, Protestant from Oklahoma, who Captain G.I. Joe's imprisoned in a Nazi camp near the end of the war, when the Nazi commander demanded that all the Jews in the company line up the next morning, had the whole company line up and said, we're all Jews, because in this war, if you think anything different, and that includes the color of your skin, you can be certain Nazism's winning.